Hi, it's me, Steph. So, I am reporting in on day eight of P3. Absolutely fabulously now for my husband and I. My husband is actually down a pound from his LIW and he looks super thin and great. And my problem is, is I cannot take my pants in fast enough. Uh, yesterday, I had such a problem with my pants being too big that I went home for lunch. I have an hour lunch. And I took the side seams in and I took kind of like the butt seam in a little bit. And I went to work and they were still too baggy. And I took them in like a quarter of an inch on each side. And so I was like, oh my gosh, you know. And my coworker, the reason I did it is my coworker goes, uh, uh, stuff your underwear, Sean, because they were so baggy. They were like, falling off. So anyways, um, so today I wore the first pair of pants that I, I, I ever took in. And honestly, I took them in a little bit too much that first week that I did that. And so they were a little bit on the tight side, but you know what? They're not tight anymore. <laughs> in fact, they're kind of loose. And, and the, the crazy place that my pants are really loose. So talk about pounds and inches. I'm in P3. I'm in P3 and I feel like I'm losing inches because, well, one thing, I'm climbing up and down that hill at lunchtime for a half an hour sometimes when my, my a coworker and I can do it. We do it probably maybe three days a week, so we're not doing it every day. But um, where was I? Oh, so my pants, it's like right where my saddlebags would be is where my pants are too big. So um, it is just crazy because I feel like I have to do some kind of like okay over where the saddlebags used to be I need to take those in a little bit more so it's it's gonna be an art for me to take all these pants in because I have like a stack of you know gray pants and brown pants and black you know office attire type clothes so um, it's gonna be interesting because each pair is like a different too big in a different way and and each pair is a little bit different some have cuffs on the you know um, on the bottom of the pant leg and some have pockets on the sides so then you you know you have to it's just kind of tricky to take those kind of things in so anyway I'm, I'm just really excited having a good time on p3 last night my husband made tuna and he made it with just like two tablespoons of mayo and olives and we both love dill pickles so he put a lot of dill pickle in there and um, I had a sandwich with Ezekiel bread and oh my gosh it's so good but what I have found because you know they say to add slowly I did not add slowly on p3 I just went for it because I felt like I was such a good girl on p2 that I just didn't even care about being good anymore once I got to p3 so I had a little issue with gaining right away for sure but um, now I'm learning to stabilize, I'm learning my body, so I'm learning what I can get away with, and I have found that I cannot get away with very much Ezekiel bread. I have found that I, my limit is two pieces of Ezekiel bread a day. If I have four pieces, like a sandwich for lunch and a sandwich for dinner or something, that's too much, and I'll see a significant gain the next day. So, so it's really great, because you learn what you can do and what you can't do, so right now I'm right in range of my LAW. I'm up about a pound, a pound 1.6. I'm up 1.6, so I'm in range. I'm okay. Um, but, you know, I'm not okay. I don't have a cushion, so I have to be careful today. And so all day all I've had is chicken breast that was cooked in coconut oil, and I've had um, a cup and a half. So that's actually 300 grams. So HCG Girl Talk, she was um, doing these great vlogs with her refrigerator and freezer and um, she was saying it was really hard to get in um, 230 grams of chicken and HCG Girl Talk, what are you talking about? We were doing 200 grams in P2, so why is it hard to get 230 in P3, silly girl? So anyways, I don't know if she meant to say grams because that's not very much. It's really not very much. It's just your two proteins and 30 more <laughs> so so um, I don't know it's not really a lot so anyways I've already had 300 grams I've had 300 grams of chicken today and uh, an apple and that's what I've eaten today the uh, custodian in our 
building today. He comes about three or whatever and he starts doing recycling. He's an Asian man that does not speak English very well. So he and I have really bonded because I'm trying to teach him English. So, you know, he wanted me to Google something one day and it took me forever to understand that he's saying Google and not Gokul. <laughs> so I couldn't. Um, so ever since then, we just like created this funny little bond with each other. And so we talk a lot and um, he, today he, bought me a Diet Coke out of the machine and I'm not going to not take it, you know, and, and it just dawned on me like, <laughs> when's the last time I had a Diet Coke? I mean, it was before P2, sometime, way before P2, and I used to love Diet Cokes. I mean, Diet Cokes can be a quick addiction, especially when your uh, vending machine's really cheap, like 50 or 60 cents, and so... <laughs> That was just uh, one of those weird phenomenons. Like, not only do I feel like I'm losing inches in P3, and Heavy Tommy told me I would. I mean, I remember her saying something about that. But also, um, just the whole trying different foods and having tuna with mayo last night and hopping on the scale this morning going, hmm, okay, <laughs> that was cool. Um, so it's great. And, um, but here's the deal. My husband is so active during the day that he can have eight pieces of Ezekiel bread and all kinds of cheese and all kinds of food and get away with it. And like I said, he's he's a pound below his LAW right now. So he is just living it up. He is like the P3 student of the year, 4.0 P3 student. So I am just so <laughs> proud of him. He inspires me to try harder and to do better. So anyway, love in P3. Um, and I'm going to do a vlog soon about the most amazing chocolate delight that I've created. I know that everyone has their own recipe. Mine is more kind of like a protein bar. It's like a protein bar, uh, P3 only, P3 friendly um, chocolate delight. So, and my husband and I did not do chocolate delight or coconut oil of any kind in P2 until we were in our 72 hours. So, um, after our LAW. So, anyway. So this is P3 Chocolate Delight that I'm going to tell you about and show you all the ingredients we use that um, my husband just loves it and I love it too. So anyway, later. Bye.